Hi, I'm Dane Whitbeck. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Pinwheel. I realized that my kids are going to live a life with technology. Like They're going to. It's just a matter of when. And so this really got me thinking, what would I give my kids when it's time to give them a cell phone? And nothing was really built for a kid in mind, and that's why we started Pinwheel. What makes a uh, Pinwheel phone therapist approve is this uh, notion, the mission of the pinwheel phone is that it is about trying to enhance the well-being of kids while being cognizant of the pitfalls of a typical, a typical smartphone and it's being built from the ground up. As parents, we have so many burdens on us as we try to raise these incredible little people to be fulfilled and engaged citizens of the world. And pinwheel is really there to help parents Ease the burden of how do I teach my kids technology the right way from an, from an early age. So yeah, we've tried to make it as easy as possible to where you don't have to spend your entire life managing this, mm -hmm. right? You set it up and here in the schedule section, there's a Monday through Friday. And once you set those days, Monday through Friday, then your week is basically, basically set. I think it would help, especially with the older kids, that it's an attractive phone. It doesn't look like a kitty phone right. and it looks very much like the phones that she and I have, like the adult phones. I think that would definitely help with most, especially older kids. That is one of the reasons he did not want a flip phone. <laughs> right, the embarrassment. If we level. had something like that, we would have bought that for him. See, when your kid turns 16, you wouldn't hand them the keys to a Ferrari and say, go have fun. Likewise, when they turn 13, you shouldn't give them an iPhone and tell them, go have fun. You need to start with education. And Pinwheel is like driver's ed for a phone. You basically can teach them, here's the right way to use technology, here's the ways it can help you, and here's the dangers that we're going to avoid. How can we expect kids to master technology if they don't have the opportunity to use it with training wheels before we give them the full-on Monty? Their future is going to include technology, so we might as well teach them to use it the right way at the earliest age.